Are you okay, Jason? Okay. I just sat across the room from a patient covered from head to foot in PPE and had to tell him that we've run out of options. There's nothing more we can do for him. And you ask if I'm okay? How much time do you think he has? A month, maybe six weeks. Any family? His daughter's expecting a baby in three months. Uh, that's tough. Sometimes all it takes is a gentle touch, a smile, but that's just not available at the moment. No. Nope. There's a limit to what we can do. Well, he wanted to cry, but with all this, it's just so sterile. And he couldn't. He just couldn't bring himself to cry. And that just made it all that much worse. You need some time for yourself. Are you almost done for today? I've got a couple of days off. It's just as well. I don't think I could come back to this tomorrow. Well, go home and get some rest. And what do you do to take your mind off of all of this? Nothing, really. By the time I get home, I'm so tired, I can't start on something else. Well, you need something. Well, what do you do? Look at the stars. What? Astronomy! I find oh. it so fascinating. And, you know, sometimes when I get all wound up in my own little world and all of its problems, it's good to just get outside, look at the stars, and remind myself that there's something so much bigger out there. Sounds pretty cold to me. No, I just dress up warmly and take a flask of soup mm -hmm. And you know what? I get so fascinated with it that I don't feel cold at all. You know what? I'm going out tomorrow night. Why don't you come with me? There's no way you're going to get me to sit outside in the cold. It's a good night to be out. Mars doesn't get much closer than this. Fascinating. There! Now that is beautiful! Here! Have a look! You see that yellow circle just underneath the center and a little bit to the right? And it's so much brighter than the others? Yes, I think so. That's Mars! How do you know? Oh, you can tell because of its position relative to the star constellations. Have you been doing this a long time? Uh, about five years. Oh. Hey, have some soup. Are you feeling any better than yesterday? You know, there's a lot of good to what I do. Like, there's this new drug coming out in a few weeks. It's not a cure, but for some of my patients, it means an extra couple of years. When something like that comes along, it's like pure gold. Does it happen very often? No, but you don't need things like that to make the job worthwhile. Sometimes all somebody needs is a little bit of hope. And hope doesn't mean everything's going to be okay. But just to be able to tell someone, we're here, we understand, and to see their reaction, there's something almost spiritual about that. And then there's a difficult bit. Yes, normally, even when you have something difficult to tell them, even when patients are facing up to their own death, there can be something beautiful about helping them to come to terms with it. Sounds like you've got a lot of gifts to give. But I can't, because these aren't normal times. It feels like we're stuck in some kind of limbo, just managing to hold on, waiting.
What are you waiting for, Jason? When I went into this, I thought I could make a difference. Not that I thought I could find miracle cures. It's not about that. But I thought I could make a difference in people's lives, make their life better. And now I can't. And I suppose I'm waiting for when I can go back to giving people that little bit of hope that they need. What's that? What? That star. It's so bright. I've never seen anything like that before.